Here we go again, guys. This is a different one today. Today I got the Mrs. Biros. So we're gonna talk about today uh, yes. like current things that happen. What was the title that was on the Instagram? So we put an Instagram story out saying what is the best thing about being a trucker, but wrong answers. Yeah, only. boy, you got it wrong straight away because there's nothing good about it. That's so good. <laughs> no, hands down. Being a truck driver is the best job I have done so far. I wouldn't change it for the world. Especially a big shout out to Hunter Park. I spoke today, they allowed me to do videos for you and we're gonna carry on doing that. So keep that in mind. And in the last video, make sure you go to the channel and subscribe to Trucking UK. Social media, Trucking UK one. When I say social media, I mean Instagram, TikTok, and uh, we haven't got Facebook yet. Not yet, but, but YouTube though. Just make sure you just go to the YouTube because that's the one that funds all this kind of stuff. Anyway, so what's the first question when you post it? Hold on, before we go in, into that, what was the title? Okay, so we asked everybody what is the best thing about be, being a trucker, but wrong answers only. What do you mean wrong answers? So, things that are not quite right about being a trucker. So, funny answers really. The worst things about being a trucker. Well, I can think about a million things about trucking that could be bad like yeah. 10 late 10 but, up late but you love it really don't you oh uh, i'm away for five days mm -hmm. <laughs> i bet you love that as well sometimes <laughs> <laughs> all right so okay well that's actually one of the first answers that we got so i think this was the most popular one as well was spending time with family Oof. Oof. Time at home Oof. and having a, such a great social life because you're away all the time. Okay, the social life, you can manage that because you tend to talk to people outside. Yeah, but you don't get to go out on, you know, if you want to just go down the pub one night or go out of a weekend. Because yeah, when you, you come home on a Friday, you're too knackered. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you're tramping all week, so you do get to miss out on things, don't you? Like what? Come on, tell me one. If there's any special events, like... Like I, the wedding. Like I went to a wedding and you couldn't come. Ah, one thing I have to say, she <laughs> never is going to forgive me for that. <laughs> I'll let you on. We had a good time, though. Yeah, it was very good. Would have been better if you were there, but... Yeah. Okay, I think I got one in here. They actually cracked me up. Um, big shout out to Ollie, Alex, whatever it's pronounced. I'm going to leave... All the stuff, I'm going to leave it here, so you can see the people that start posting it. Next time I put something out, just make sure you leave your comment as well. So this one is transport managers that care about their drivers. Oof. I saw that quite a few times. Transport planners, transport managers. Bearing in mind, this is wrong answers only. Yeah. I mean, from my perspective, I can say sometimes that you don't think about getting you home on time of a Friday. To get an extra night out. Which What's is the latest I have been home? So I leave in a Friday. No, sorry. I leave in a Monday. Yeah. We're talking about like okay, my so last job. Okay, so used to leave on a Monday. So a Monday, yeah. Was it half past three? Uh, no, quarter past four. We get up at half past three on a Monday. Yeah. That's another good thing about being a trucker's wife, isn't it? <laughs> no, boy. Getting up at half past three on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Um, so you get up at half past three on a Monday, then you're away till... You're meant to come home Friday. But sometimes if it gets planned wrong, you don't come home until the Saturday. Yes, that's yes. right. So basically what I used to do is I used to work for a company and I used to get up half three in the morning mm -hmm. to be there at five. And bearing in mind, I used to, that, that is the latest I used to yeah. get up. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Sometimes it used to be like 12 o'clock start. Yes, we've done that before. But that is the benefit. So truck driving, you learn to get up early and it's, <laughs> it's not nice. But we get up, we went... Anyway, we get good money for doing this kind of jobs anyway. Uh, okay. Well, uh, once you go. Okay, another one I got. This one come up about a million times. Traffic. Traffic? Traffic. The best thing about being a truck driver, stuck in the traffic. I can tell you the best traffic you can get is on a Friday. A foot down Friday. <laughs> oh, you know the term now, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> I know everything about trucking. <laughs> so, just explain it. Sometimes on a Friday, when you work Monday to Friday, they try to get you home. They do. Most of the times they do. Hold on, let me just get this on my face. They try to get you home. They do. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they don't care. But they do try to get you home. You get angry with me sometimes. It's like, oh, you meant to be here, blah, blah, blah. But it's out of my hands. Yeah. Every wife out there, remember, 
he's trying to get home, but it's the job sometimes. Yeah, and, and if you are stuck in traffic, because Friday traffic is horrendous, M62. Yes. Okay, <laughs> M6. M6. A a anything from Conglinton onwards. Up, up past Hayes What's that? Uh, Junction 21 to Junction 25? I'd say before 21. Oof. Yeah, it, it, it does, it yeah, does, yeah, it yeah. does. Staffordshire, after that, he gets... It gets bad, bad doesn't it? Gets it? Bad. And then I'm 62 for, around Leeds. What about Manchester. going for Birmingham? Oh, we love Birmingham, don't we? <laughs> we love Rush Hour Birmingham. All right, let me see what else. Uh, I got a couple of people posting stuff saying, let me see. Uh, Joe PB, but bad Inley. I, I'm really know this wrong. <laughs> people are going to, it's a lot of me. So he's saying, woman drivers. <gasps> To be fair, sometimes go sometimes when I'm driving, I'll go, ooh, that's a woman driver, isn't it? You actually have to sit down knew, the road with me as I well. I know, I always do it. I put it in an example. <laughs> Done it before, didn't I, woman that driver? Woman, that, that woman in Tesco earlier. Yes, yes. What about the one when we were in Manchester and the woman reversing out? Ooh. And she scratched the whole of the car. Well, I, tell you, I, I tell you the best one. The most that I get in the road is women coming out of slip roads. Yes. And they think they go the right way. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. I'm going to tell you this, whoever you are out there, if you come and... Listen, hold on. I'm getting All the women are coming for you now. I don't care, come after me, come and follow me. I tell you the registration on my card as well if you want to. Yeah. But when you're coming out of the slip roads, you don't have right away. Yes. Do you know that? Yes, I knew that. Okay. But you don't have right away. You need to let the person go because if I'm in a truck and I'm in the first lane and going past that slip road and then somebody next to me, what do you want me to do to break? So the person behind me crashes into me. What about if it's a truck and it's got 44 tons and you can break on time? Think about air. If you can drive, you stay home. Wow, getting passionate there, aren't we? <laughs> Big statement was. <laughs> Okay, I've Go got, on, I've got a really one. good one. The best thing about being a trucker, the 15 hour days. 15 hour days? You like days. that though, because you get paid more, don't you? Say? Oh yeah, <laughs> no, no. Ten, thanks to Hunter Park, I get paid, paid an hour. I really like paid that. Paid by the hour. But Never got in contract. I was going to say, but if you're on a salary, you don't really get extra money, do you? No, you don't. No, no. no you don't. No. But uh, some companies got benefits, so example, uh, no damage in your truck and stuff like that. Yes. No big benefits. But what about if you do because it's an accident, yeah, they can happen. Yeah, yeah. So you lose money straight away. Yeah. Uh, okay, I got this This one. It's, it's about cars coming up the inside of you when you're stranding both lanes to turn left. Oh yeah, I've seen that when, when truckers pull out in the middle of the, the roads. Because yes. obviously when you turn, see I know this, when you turn you need the space, don't you? Yes, so <laughs> what happened is, when you're driving a truck, you've got a massive trailer. It's an Arctic trailer. If you're driving a rig, sometimes you can come to them kind of situations as well. So we tend to take both lanes yeah. and then try to take it wide as we can to yeah. come around so the trailer doesn't go on the pavement yeah, or it the curve. Yeah. Why? Because it costs the government about 50,000 pounds a year. Oof. Like you're fixing curves because top drivers you tend to just hop on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be careful with yeah. stuff like that. So as you're turning like that, you'll get a little Doris behind you in the car trying to come on the left Sucky. side of you. Is that your, your blind spot as well on the left? My left side, yes, yes. you just can't yeah, yeah, see. Because yeah. you drive on the right side in the UK. Yeah, yeah. If you drive like Brazil and stuff like that, you don't have to bother about stuff like that because you can still see. But if you turn it left, you're on the right side, yeah, you yeah. can't see what's coming. Cyclists as well, they do that. Yeah, that's actually one of my uh, things here. The best thing about being a truck is cyclists. <laughs> but I think that's an issue with ah! with car drivers as well, though, isn't it? Ah! <laughs> See, we do like going on our bikes, so we can't slag off the no, cyclists. No, we only get on the bike once. <laughs> Don't you once. Copy? <laughs> once, and I got an electric bike as well. So. <laughs> I have to pedal. Uh, but in that, okay, so. The worst ones are in Oxford. Oh, you did a video about that. Yes, you? I did a video yeah, about yeah, that, yeah. but I never released it. I should do that. Why didn't you release it? I don't know. I think about it. Like, let, let me know in the comments if you want me to release that. We'll do it right yeah, now. Yeah, it's famous for cyclists down in Oxford. It was about 3,500 million. Yeah. That, that was a random yeah, number yeah. there anyway. Don't, like, 
it, it must be about about cyclists. Must be about ten thousand cyclists just in that little town. You should like in one of the towns. On that day when you were there. Yes, yes. I know you're joking. It was a guy pedaling a bike yeah. with three kids at the back, wow. and it was like attached three things attached to to wow. each other. It wasn't. It wasn't real. He's got good cardio, hasn't he? Well, being a dad, I think you need to have a lot of heart to yeah. be honest to deal with kids. That's true. Let me see. I have like so many in here. So these are making us laugh. Some of these answers. Hold on! Don't cut me off. It's my time now. Proper sleep and proper diet. Yes. You cook for me every time, don't you? Yeah. So that's another thing that people don't think about. Like if you haven't got a microwave or you haven't got a, a kettle, or some people don't even have a fridge. So you've got to pre-plan. Don't talk about the kettle. Oh yeah, that's an issue, isn't it? <laughs> you know how much it cost me. Like Go on. I, I spend on coffee. I oh, checked yeah, my yeah. bank statement the other day, and a year. It cost me about a thousand pound altogether. <sighs> no, I exaggerated then about four hundred altogether. I don't know, you know. So what? How much is a coffee in the services? About three pounds fifty. So if you had two coffees a day, seven quid a day. Yes. Ooh. Add top. Over a hundred, what, hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty a month? Yes, something like that's that. That's a lot. But we're talking about uh, that's my tramping money for the week. Exactly. And the food as well. Exactly. So if you go to Burger King or anything like that. <gasps> yes. Ten pounds for like ten pounds for a little meal, and then you're yeah. still hungry. I yeah. I'm starving all the time. Yeah. So that's <laughs> that's something else you don't think about. You've got to pre-plan. Pre-plan? Yeah, the day before you need to get all your food ready. Uh, I don't do anything like that. She's also for me, so <laughs> I don't have to worry. Do burritos tomorrow. Ah! <laughs> I like the burritos because I used to sit down there and just like, like, like the tin foil, I used to take it off and while I'm driving. That was a joke. I don't do it while I'm driving. <laughs> okay. Um, best thing about being a trucker? Coming home every night. I come home sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. if, you're, if you're a tramper then. Let's I'll... not get into that because a lot of people mm. are getting into trouble for stuff like this. I know, that's the thing. Someone actually said um, it's a bit of a marriage breaker, being a truck or being a tramper. Oh, I see comments like yeah, that yeah, as well. Yeah, I've seen it, quite a few. I'm not going to go into that because uh, a lot of people are uh, really selling all this kind of stuff. Well, yeah, because you do. You miss out on your family life, don't you? Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. So I got one here. Um, oh, I, I don't want. I don't even want to read this one. What is it? Is it bad? When you jump out <laughs> of your truck in a layby and you land on a, uh, happened to me once, I, and that's not a joke. Dog poo? Or no, 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 no. no. It, it's a, it's a. Oh no! You know why? Because why? Sometimes there is truckers that don't care about stuff. So they're doing the business in yes. the, the layby. Yes. Oh. Just right outside. So what they do is open the door, put the chicks out. <laughs> do not want a demo? <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is serious, this. I've been serious. <laughs> handle, so, and the truck is two handles side to side, yeah. passing the side, let a bit out, hang it out. Oh, I know what you mean, hanging off the door backwards. Exactly. Wow, that was quite impressive. <laughs> don't be doing that. Oh, no. <laughs> no, to be honest, like, thanks to Hunter Park for letting me stay in services. <laughs> if your company, this is serious, this. Yeah, yeah. If you're a company, make sure your guys stay in services. Why? Security, toilet, food, and showers. Yeah. Truckers are really clean, most of them. Yeah. There's some of them that are like, oh, don't, don't get into that right mm. now. But anyway, what was the next one? Okay, so my one is actually linked to what you just said. The best thing about being a trucker, service station toilets. Now, so, you showed me a show photograph. <laughs> I'm gonna put this little video in a little screen down here on this side, either side. I went to the toilet, and I'm gonna mention services. Hilton Park, oh, you Birmingham. Oh, fa your favorite. <laughs> no pounds, do not go there. Why? I tell you right now why. I went in there the other day, every single toilet had everywhere. Ah, look at this, look at this. It, it, how do you manage to do your business under the seat oh, where you have to seat. It's quite a, a skill. I wanted to throw up. I, 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 I wanted to go, but as soon as I saw that, I went like, no, I'm getting out. The thing is, if you've made a mess, you would know about it, wouldn't you? Clean it. Clean it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the showers as well. I'm going to put another footage about the shower here. Like, oh. guys, we truckers. We try to do our business right. We, we do things to keep the country running. 
And some services don't care about us. They need to care about us because we deliver your stuff as well. So yeah. I'm speaking out for every single one of the truckers out there. Yeah. And they're right. And they're going to support that. Let me know which one is the worst service station as well that you have been. Yeah. And even if you're not trucking as well, but that's the main one. I know I've seen comments from women truckers as well saying that they won't even venture into the showers because they're so Women dizzy. truckers. Guys, you're out there trucking all the time. Just make sure a women truckers, absolutely good drivers, just make sure you look after them because there is people in the services that tend to follow them when they go to the showers. Just keep an eye out. And I out for them because it's really dangerous for women. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not sexist or anything, it's just dangerous. Yeah, no, no. So I got this one, D Clan W95. So the constant blame when things go wrong. And I know what he meant by that. Go on. Okay. Get in the morning, get me paperwork, get on my truck, fill up if you need to, add blue, whatever. Mm -hmm. Get my stuff, stretch, go. Check my load. But they didn't put a time on the, on oh, the paperwork. paperwork. Yeah, yeah. So when I get somewhere and they said to me, oh, that was meant to be here at 10 o'clock this morning, but it's mm -hmm. 11 o'clock. And you start, I don't know, an hour more, and you need a delivery down London mm -hmm. or Essex. How are you going to make downtime? You can't. No, no. Because of, you've been turned away, haven't you, a few times? You've, I've seen, you've done a video, didn't you? You drove up and down the country and then you got there and they said nope i deliver 29 pallets no 30 pallets it was european pallets 30 pallets it was even one top of the other mm -hmm. not going to mention companies but when i go there it was about 295 miles i made a video about that just just go and have a look at it it's about everything that i have done when i go there it's like Oh no, this is meant to be next month. Not even next the time. Next month? <laughs> what do you think about that? So you got it in the neck then? I don't got it in the neck. I just take it back and get paid for it. It's not my problem. Because people don't look at the paperwork and think, oh, this yeah, is next yeah. month. And you just guess. But you do get blamed for stuff like if you're stuck in traffic or... I know you don't get blamed for Things that. are out of your control. But they, they, when things are out of control, they tend to be like, oh, you're meant to be doing this, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But no, they, they, after a while, things can get hit sometimes. I know. I've heard the phrase, um, what is it? Can you just push it a bit? Can you push it a bit? <laughs> you know how much I push in my life? I know. <laughs> but to be honest, it's just about the company you work for. Hunter Park, I'm going to say again, absolutely amazing. Like... You have seen how they treat me so far. Yeah, no, they've been really good. And um, I rang up the other day and I talked to this guy, a very amazing blog. Talk to him all the time. Big shout out to Phil. That I said I said that I was going to give you a shout out and you say yes to it. So big <laughs> shout out to you. Next time, if you want to for me to leave your Instagram somewhere in here, let me know what I'll do it. He asked me, all right, what time do you want to start? And I asked him like, what do you mean, mate? He go. Yeah, and you want to start early or you want to start late? And I'm like, all right, if I yeah. start early, it's more money. So what time do you want me to start? Oh, it's either you start at six or you start two o'clock. I'm yeah. like, yeah, two o'clock sounds good to me. Yeah, but it's, th it's those little things that make the job easier for you. You know, if you're a bit tired, you could say, yeah, can I start a bit later? But if you start a bit early, you get more money. It's I'm just nice. I'm never going to say no. Yes, we know. <laughs> It's just nice being asked though, isn't it? It's Instead nice. of saying, you need to be here for five. Yes, it's just it's it's nice. how polite they are. Yeah, yeah. It's, how, it's just been nice. It's those little things that make the job easier. Yes. Yeah. And when, when they ring, because of stuff like that, when they ring me and be like, oh, can you be here? Be Can you push it today? I'm like, yes, I yes, can. Yes, of course I can. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other one? Okay. okay. Because, well, we're going to do so and make this video too long. I've got two more. One more. Choose the best one. Okay. The best thing about the job of being a trucker, waiting to be unloaded. So, <clears throat> person on this one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's good because you can maybe chill for a bit, get on with other stuff. Chill? Edit YouTube videos. Chill? <laughs> no. It, it, it's right that, uh, but at the same time, no, because if I go another four deliveries and then I was yes. planning to do a 12 hour shift, yeah, yeah, yeah. it turns out to be a 50. Yeah, but you get paid. Yeah, you get paid, but you knock it. Yeah. 
So... Stay out. Well, it's good anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I think wait, sometimes if you are waiting there a long time and you do need a bit of a break or get some food or... But if you are yeah. on a schedule, I can, I can understand yeah. that. Okay, I'm going to read my last one. And this one, I, when I read this one, it was personal to me. It, it did go a little bit personal. Go so, on. low fifth rate. Oh, the low fifth rate, yes. I've been, yes. I, 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 I've been robbed about five times to four. Uh, I think four actually, four not five. five. But in a year, that's, that's a lot. In one, yeah, less than a year, that was the yeah. beginning of this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're talking about carrots and sliders to make yeah. sure that if I got something in it. Yeah. Um, the fuel. The fuel, that was the worst one. I didn't yeah, sleep yeah. that night. That's terrifying to me. That would be terrifying. For a woman, yes. For a guy, it's like, just take it. Yeah, but even, it's not like a woman-guy thing. Just the thought of someone invading your personal space. Yeah. But I want to nice. consent too much about that, to be honest. I'm more worried that they woke you up and just said, just leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't sleep. So when that happened, mm -hmm. I woke up about three o'clock in the morning. I didn't yeah. thought about anything. Thinking, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't sleep. What woke you up? Could you hear them? So they, they, they're really sneaky and really quiet. So yeah, when yeah. I when I parked up, somebody said to me, another truck hit. You're going to get robbed if you stay here. I felt like this guy is probably just talking out of his ball. Yeah, yeah. I think like, yeah, just park here. Somebody else in the front of me. Night time, all I can feel is the truck just moving a bit. And I thought it was the wind, but it wasn't. So because he told me that, I opened my curtains. There was two people there trying to sneak out my fuel. And then when they saw that I opened the wind and start touching my my horn, they, might, they, they just ran away, jumping a, in a Range Rover, and then ran away. And, and, and then people came out and stuff like that. And I'm thinking to myself, what a waste of time. I know. I should have just stayed asleep. I know. <laughs> but That's... I tried to go to sleep, and then I woke up again. Did, like, they, did they come back a second yes, they time? Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did, they did. It's wrong, isn't it? But can, can you not do anything to stop that? Can you not, like, lock the fuel or...? It, it's a lot of things that you can do about it, like, locking the pipelines, because uh, where the fuel comes in, we got, like, a filter or, or something that, that takes the fuel out to send it into the engine, so... This power plug, not this power plug, sorry, the, the injectors... Yeah. ...that are connected to that, so it sends this into the, into the engine. They call that off, pull it out. But it's another way. You can cover that with metal things. Yeah. But it. what they do is some of them, this is a big one as well. They get something really sparkly. Mm -hmm. And they put like in a in a crank or something. And they do it with their feet. And because it got pressure and they get something really thin to pierce through the tank. They're not daft, are they? And they just start getting it from there. It's not difficult, but they get everything. Yeah, if they're going to rob you, they're going to rob you. It, it's just the fact that they're robbing you in a Range Rover. Yeah. <laughs> it's very organised, isn't but it? Im imagine how much money they make out of that. Yeah. The police never turned up as well. Don't care. Here we go again, guys. <laughs> if you like the video, let me know in the comments. We're going to try to carry on doing this. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. We're going to carry on. Here we go. Bye. <laughs>